So to add a friend then, we obviously need a new controller method on our friend controller. So we're going to implement that, we're going to create a root, and then we're going to write out the logic in the root and either redirect the user off if they've done something silly, or we'll actually add their uh, chosen friend, uh, user as a friend. So inside of here then, let's have a method called get add. And this will take a username because we need to supply the user that we're requesting. So for now, I'm just going to kill that and output the username. And in my roots here, I can just go ahead and copy and paste this. And for the URL, we are going to have friends add and then the username. And this is obviously get add. This is going to be friend add and we still want our auth middleware on there. We need to be authenticated to do this. So now if we head over to friends add Dale, we just get Dale output. So we've got that username now. So let's hook up this add friend button here. So if we head over to our profile index page uh, and we have this add as friend button, we can implement this route now. And the root is obviously going to be friends or friend.add. And of course, we need to pass in the username here, which is the current user's profile. So it's user username. So from I'm currently signed in as Alex and I hit add as friend, we get adding Dale. If I'm signed in as Dale and I want to add Alex as a friend, we get Alex there. So it's pretty straightforward. So now what we can do is under the friend controller, actually start to uh, add a friend. So we first want to pull out the user here that we've requested in the URL. So it's user where username equals that username. We'll grab the first record. We need to check if the user can be found or not. So we can say if not user, then we want to return redirect off to maybe the home page and we might want to say that user could not be found and I'm just going to pull this down just so it's a little bit neater so that's the first check checking if the user can be found or not if I click on add as friend and I type in a load of rubbish that takes us back to the home page with that user could not be found so the next check is if we already have a friend request pending and we implemented the method for that in the user model. So has friend request pending, we pass in the user and we get back a true or false. This is really simple to use within our controller. So we're checking if the currently authenticated user has a friend request pending. So has friend request pending and we're passing in the user that we have that we're requesting. But we also want to check if the other user has a friend request pending for us, because then we will see that on the page ready to accept the friend request. So we're just gonna reverse this and say, if user has friend request pending for auth user, you could make this shorter by implementing just one method if you wanted to on your user model, but I'm going to do it explicitly here just so it's a little bit easier to uh, to kind of see. So if that's the case, we want to redirect back to a root. We're not going to redirect back to the home page. We're going to redirect back to profile.show and or profile.index rather. And we pass in the username here. That's the username there or the rather the user username you can use either and I'm going to pull this down again just so it's a little bit easier to read and we want to flash some session information friend request already pending so we can actually test this out uh, if I click add as friend now we see it goes through if we insert a record into here so one and two and we set accepted to zero. Uh, oh, we get the add, we get the accept request button. But if we do friends add Dale manually, we go back from request already pending, and then we can accept it from there. So we know that that one works now.
let's just remove this record. Great, so the next thing is checking if we are already friends. So if auth user is friends with, which is another method on our user model, passing in that user, then we know we're already friends. So we can return and redirect to our profile page. So that's profile.index, again with that username in there. And we'll pull this down once again. And we want to show some information saying you are already friends. So we can test this out again. So if we actually bring this back and we accept the friend request between user one and two, and I go over to here, we can see that we're already friends now, but if I were to go and manually say friends add Dale, you're already friends. So it doesn't let us do anything. So again, let's delete this because we now actually are going to insert that record. Once we've passed all this checks, we know that we can actually add a friend. And remember, we use this add friend method on our user model that we created, which just attaches the current user to our to this to this uh, relationship. So all we need to do to add a friend is auth user add friend, and we pass in that user. And then we redirect off somewhere. So we're going to return back, redirecting to a root. And once again, we'll pull this down. And we're going over to the profile page again. So again, we pass in our username. And we want to say with info, friend request sent. Perfect. So this is now done and we can test this out. So remember, we've got Dale and Alex both looking at each other's profiles. I'm going to go ahead and add Dale as a friend. And you can see that friend request sent waiting for Dale Garrett to accept your request. And over on uh, the other browser I have open when I'm viewing this, it now says accept friend request. Neither of these users can go ahead and add themselves again. Friend request already pending, so we've, we've got rid of all them checks. And now all we're left to do is the ability to accept a friend request. We can take a quick peek inside of the database here. You can see that we've got the relationship all correctly set up here and the record inserted. So next then we need to be able to accept a friend request.